If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, you are going to see about James Path, which is a query language for JSON. When compared to JSON Path, it has advanced features such as piping and advanced functions, etc. And also performance wise, you could see little improvement when you use the James Path extractor. Now let us see how you can use James Path to extract key value pairs. Instead of typing dollar and your expression like in JSON path, James path supports very basic expressions like Python. For example, if you want to retrieve the ID, you can just type ID here. It will give you the result one. And if you want to retrieve the type, just simply type type keyword and here it will give you the output as donut. And if you want to extract the array, you can just type batters dot batter which will give you the array of elements because batter is an array. And if you want to go inside batter, you can just type batter of first element dot id. This will give you the second element because of the index one. And you can see the result as 1002. And if you want to retrieve all the IDs, you can use the star operator, which will give you all the elements. Or if you want to retrieve the last element, you can use the minus one. If you want to find the length of the array, so you can uh, use length function like this and you can write your expression inside the parenthesis, so which will give you the length of the array. You can also sort your key value pair using the sort by function. So if you type sort by within the parenthesis, you have to type your expression like batters dot batter and you are going to sort by uh, say calorie here and you can uh, retrieve all the elements and you can just uh, display it in your result. So now you can see the calories has been sorted by ascending order and you can add multiple uh, elements. For example, if you want to retrieve the type and if you want to retrieve the uh, ID so like this, you can keep on adding your own expression and you can sort it out very simple and effective way. James path supports uh, piping. So piping means output of one function could be the input of another function. So here uh, you can pipe your output using the pipe uh, symbol. So in this case, I'm going to uh, pipe batters dot uh, batter of uh, type. So this will give you the array of the uh, type, regular chocolate, blueberry, etc. And now we can write some expression within the square brackets. So here we are going to use the function called contains. So contains means it will check for the uh, character, whether it is uh, present or not. And at means the current uh, element. And here I'm going to search for uh, chocolate, for example, CHO and equals uh, true. So here you have to use the back tick uh, within the uh, expression, boolean expression. So now it will give you the elements which has the characters CHO. So it says case sensitive. And if you want to do the opposite of this, you can enter the false. So this will give you not uh, CHO character. So this is how you use the output of one function into the input of another expression. So like this, it supports very advanced expressions. And using this, you can extract almost anything by writing a simple syntax. So whatever we have seen in this video, just a little uh, tip of the James Path uh, capability. I suggest you to visit the jamespath.org website and uh, just uh, click on examples or a tutorial to learn more about the functions and expressions and the features of James Path. I hope James Path and JSON Path will be very helpful if you want to extract the information from your uh, JSON response. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.